Hello buddy, welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you every single enchantment inside of Minecraft. And so if you like Minecraft videos like this one, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. I'll also cover the new 1.17 content. And so along with the enchantments I'll also show the max level and also on which items you can apply them. And of course I'll show you what the enchantments do. So let's go through this in alphabetical order. If you want to know something specific about a single enchantment, there'll be timestamps in the description and also chapters in the video so you can scrub through and see the enchantments you're interested in. Or if you just want to know general information about every single enchantment, then watch through the whole video. So we start off with Aqua Infinity. Its max level is 1. And so these max levels will be the max you can get inside enchantment tables or for enchant books. And you can apply these only to helmets. And so this enchantment will increase your mining speed underwater. So if we go underwater right here and mine this dirt block, you can see it takes a very, very long time. But if we put on our Aqua Infinity helmet, then the mining is like normal. It's the same time as if you were above the ground and try to mine some dirt. Next is Bane of Arthropods. So the max level is five and you can apply these to swords and in better condition you can also apply them through axes through the enchantment table but in java edition you have to use an enchantment book and an anvil to get it onto an axe you can't use the enchanting table for that and so with the bane of arthropods you increase damage against arthropod mobs and you also give slowness four to them so let's hit this spider. Now we got slowness 4. As you can see, you see the particle effect. And so this applies to spiders, cave spiders, silverfish, endermites, and bees. And so you will do increased damage and apply slowness 4 with Bane of Arthropods. So Bane of Arthropods is incompatible with Smite and Sharpness. You can't have Bane of Arthropods and Smite or Sharpness. Then we have Blast Protection. Its max level is Four, and you can only apply it to armor. So for example this chest plate over here. So this will reduce explosion damage and knockback as well. So let's put on the blast protection chest plate. Summon a creeper and go into survival. See what happens here. So we almost die with the blast protection chest plate. But we, but we just survive. So using the blast protection chest plate. You will take less damage from explosions. And also take less knockback. So Blast Protection is incompatible with Fire Protection, Protection and Projectile Protection. You can only have one of those four. Next up is the Channeling Enchantment. Max level 1 and can only be applied to Tridents. It's incompatible with Riptide. And so Channeling will channel a Bolt of Lightning towards an Entity. And so if there's a Thunderstorm and you use your Channeling Trident like this... There we go, the creeper gets struck by lightning over here. Then just so I don't get any comments about it, there is also the cleaving enchantment. Which is an enchantment currently only available in the Java combat snapshots. And so this is still an enchantment that's worked on and currently it increases the damage and shield stunning of axes. And it's incompatible with sharpness, bane of overpods and smite. Its max level is 3. And then we are at our very first curse and so that's curse of binding and so its max level is one and you can only apply it to stuff you can wear like armor elytra pumpkin player hats and that's pretty much it so i have a pumpkin over here you can add the binding curse to it and now if you put it on and let's go into survival we can't take it off again and so the only way to take it off is to die or if it's a piece of armor then if the armor breaks then it's also gone of course. But otherwise there is no way to take this off. Then the second curse is the vanishing curse. Once again only max level 1. It can be applied to almost any item. So that includes all types of armor, pickaxes, shovels, axes, swords, hose, fishing rods, bows, shears, flint and steel, compass... Carrot on a stick, warp fungus on a stick, shield, elytra, pumpkin, player hats, the trident and the crossbow. So that's all the things you can put the curse of vanishing on. And so if a piece of armor or anything has the curse of vanishing and you happen to die, then this item will be gone forever. So there we go, we've picked up all the rest of our items, but as you can see, the one with the curse of vanishing is not there, it has disappeared. 
So both the curse of binding and the curse of vanishing need to be applied through a book and you can't use the enchanting table to get both curses. Then we have Depth Strider, max level 3 and only applicable to boots. So it's incompatible with Frostwalker and if we put it on you can see that we can travel faster inside of water. So here we see the normal speed just swimming and also bobbing up and down like this. And so the depth strider will increase the speed of this type of traveling. So the swimming is also a little bit faster but not too much. The most important change is when you're just bobbing up and down like this. It goes much quicker. We also have efficiency, max level 5 and applicable to pickaxes, shovels, axes and hoes. And also to shears but only through an anvil. And so efficiency increases mining speed and also when it's applied to an axe it will increase the chance that an axe stuns a shield. And so with a normal shovel you mine like this. This is the speed you normally mine with and with the efficiency 5 shovel over here we can instant mine the grass as you can see. Next up is feather falling. Max level 4 and only applicable to boots. And so it will reduce the fall damage you take. So let's just fly up like this. This would normally definitely kill you but let's go into survival and we'll see that we only take 5 hearts of damage from a very massive fall. After feather falling we have fire aspect and so max level 2 and applicable to swords only. And so fire aspect will cause the mobs you hit to be set on fire. As you can see right here the creeper is set on fire when I hit it with the fire aspect sword. Then fire protection for all the different types of armor, max level 4 and incompatible with the other three types of protection. So that's blast protection, protection and projectile protection. And so as the name suggests it will reduce fire damage and burn time as well. So if we decide to jump into lava with these on, the lava damage is still the same. But as you can see we won't always take fire damage and the burn time is much shorter than without the fire protection. Another enchantment to do with fire is the flame enchantment. Its max level is 1 and you can apply it to bows only. And so as you might expect flame will cause the entity you hit to be put on fire. And we get some beautiful cooked meat over here. Fortune has max level 3, is incompatible with silk touch and can be applied to pickaxes, shovels, axes and hoes. And it increases the amount of blocks and items that drop from certain types of blocks. So for example we have some diamond ore over here and if we mine this with a normal pickaxe we will always get one diamond from them. But if we mine it with a fortune 3 pickaxe as you can see we will get a whole lot more. So we actually got an average of 3 diamonds there from those 4 diamond ores. Frostwalker is an enchantment only available for boots and you can only apply this using an anvil. The max level is 2 and if we wear this we can turn water into ice by running across it. And so this is not normalized, this is frosted ice so the ice will disappear after a certain period of time. So there we go, the ice starts disappearing again. And this enchantment also prevents damage taken from magma blocks. So here we are in survival mode standing on top of magma blocks. We're totally fine. We're not shifting at all. But we're not taking damage because we have Frostwalker on our boots. And Frostwalker is incompatible with Depth Strider. A trident can be enchanted with Impaling. The max level is 5. And will make the trident deal additional damage to mobs that can spawn in the ocean. So for example we have some squid over here. If we hit one of them with a normal trident. As you can see it doesn't die. But if we hit it with the impaling trident. Or if we miss. If we hit it with the impaling trident. As you can see it dies. So it deals more damage. Also in better condition. The trident will deal additional damage to mobs that are in water or if the mobs are in the rain. So this doesn't happen on Java Edition, only on Battle Condition. Infinity you can put on a bow only. It's incompatible with mending and its max level is 1. And of course, as many people already know, it makes it so shooting doesn't consume any arrows. So I have only one arrow in my inventory, but I can shoot infinitely until the bow breaks. You can't pick up the arrows shot with an infinity bow. Knockback is an enchantment you can put on swords only. Its max level is 2 and as the name suggests 
if you hit a mob with a knockback sword, it gets knocked back way further than when you hit it with a normal sword. As you can see, normal sword and a knockback sword. Looting, once again, only can be put on swords, max level 3. And it will increase the amount of drops mobs drop. So for example, we have this creeper over here. If we kill it with a normal sword, it will drop just one gunpowder. But if we now kill it with the looting sword, the looting 3 sword, as you can see, we get 3 gunpowder instead of just 1. On a trident, you can put loyalty, max level 3, and incompatible with riptide. And so, having loyalty on your trident makes it so when you throw it, it will come back to you automatically, so there it comes back. Having higher levels of loyalty just means that it comes back quicker. And so here we have a normal trident, if you throw it, it just stays there until you pick it back up. But the loyalty trident comes flying back after it has hit. There we go. Lock of the Sea is an enchantment you can put on fishing rods, max level 3. And it will increase the rate of good loot, and so that's enchanting books, name tags and stuff like that. So let's see if we can catch something good with this Lock of the Sea 3. Okay, so fishing is still as boring as ever. But here we go. We just get a fish, but there is an increased chance of getting the good items, of course, the chance is still not very high, but at least better than with no luck of the sea. Also just found a bug here with the texture of the fishing rod, if you hold it in your hand, the fishing line just disappears, it's a bit strange. But another enchantment for the fishing rod is lure. So once again, max level 3, and lure will make it so it takes less time for you to fish up a fish. And so let's see, with lure 3 now, so we just saw how long it took without lure, and now it will take considerably less time, hopefully. Let's see. So we st also still have Lock of the Sea, so we should also see some good items, hopefully. And so lure 3 is like essential if you want to at least do some fishing in Minecraft, because the normal times are way too long. And with lure at least it's decreased a little bit. So each level decreases the wait time by 5 seconds. And so lure 3 decreases the total wait time by 15 seconds. And so yeah, the luck of the sea enchantment only increases the chance of getting good items by 2% for every level. So it's still very rare to get any of the good items from fishing. Next up we have mending, max level 1 and incompatible with infinity on a bow. And so you can put mending on armor, pickaxes, shovels, axes, swords, hoes, fishing rods, bows, shears, flint and steel, carrot on a stick, warp fungus on a stick, shield, elytra, trident and crossbow. But only using enchanted book in an anvil, not by using an enchanting table. And so mending will make it so that items repair when you gain XP orbs. So let's take away some durability from this golden shovel, like this. So it just has one durability left now. And so if we now gain some experience by picking up these orbs, as you can see, the shovel gets healed back up to full durability. Please don't interrupt me, baby zombie. What are you doing? Then we have an enchantment for the crossbow. It's multi-shot. Max level 1 and incompatible with piercing. And so as the name suggests, if you shoot a normal crossbow like this it just shoots one arrow but if you shoot a crossbow with multi-shot on it then it shoots three arrows at the same time so using multi-shot only consumes one arrow and you can only pick the middle arrow back up when you shoot it on the ground then another enchantment for the crossbow is the piercing enchantment as i said incompatible with multi-shot and max level four and so this enchantment makes it so you can shoot through multiple entities. So let's see if we can actually make this work. There we go, I shot two fish at the same time. So you can actually shoot through five different mobs with piercing for on your crossbow. The next enchantment is for the bow and it is power. Max level 5 and it increases the amount of damage the bow does. So for example if we hit a creeper with a normal bow, we have to hit it at least three times for it to die but if you use the power 5 bow over here we can kill it with just two shots as you can see right there then for armor we have projectile protection max level 4 and it's incompatible with normal protection blast protection and fire protection and it will reduce any projectile damage so for example skeletons that shoot at you and ghosts as well so here as you can see the skeleton just does one heart damage with each of his shots 
Next we have normal protection, so once again available for every type of armor. And incompatible with blood protection, fire protection and projectile protection. So the max level is 4 and it will reduce almost every type of damage by 4% for each level. Like a sword can be enchanted with knockback, a bow can be enchanted with punch, max level 2. And so this will increase the knockback of the shots of your bow. So let's use a normal arrow first on this creeper right here. You will see it almost takes no knockback. So if you use the punch 2 bow, as you can see it gets knocked back way further and died on that beautiful magma block right there. For the crossbow we have quick charge, 3 levels as the max. And it will decrease the amount of time it takes for the crossbow to charge. So if you start holding right click, it will charge the crossbow and it will take a very long time. But with this quick charge 3, as you can see it takes way less time to charge up. Respiration is an enchantment for the helmet. Its max level is 3 and it will increase the time you can spend underwater. So normally your bubbles go down pretty quickly when you're underwater but if we wear this respiration helmet as you can see it takes much more time for the bubbles to decrease and you can spend way more time under the water using respiration. Riptide is an enchantment for the trident max level 3 and it's incompatible with channeling and loyalty and when you're in the water or when it's raining you can use the trident and fly with it as you can see if you use the trident you get launched up into the air like this and so if you want to use it outside of the water it has to rain and so here we go now it's raining and now if we go out of the water we can still use it and fly around using the riptide trident and it's a fairly effective way of traveling but you do have to keep your height on java edition you can put sharpness on swords using the enchanting table and on axes using enchanted books and in better condition you can put it on both swords and axes using the enchanting table its max level is 5 and it's incompatible with bane of alpha pots and smite and so as you might know, sharpness will increase the amount of damage you do to mobs. So using the so sharpness sword it only took 2 hits to kill the creeper, but with a normal sword it takes 3 hits. There we go. Silk touch is an enchantment that makes blocks drop themselves. And so it's incompatible with fortune, its max level is 1. You can put it on pickaxes, shovels, axes and hoes. And let's try it out. We can mine for example the leaves over here with the silk touch and we'll get the leaves. And if we mine grass, we will get the grass blocks. And if we mine stone, we will get stone instead of cobblestone. Smite is an enchantment you can put on swords and axes. Once again, in Java edition, you can only put it on axes using the anvil. And in better condition, you can put it on the axes using an enchanting table as well. Max level is once again 5, and it's incompatible with Bane of Earth Pots and Sharpness. And so smite will make it so the swords deal extra damage to undead mobs and so that skeletons, zombies, zombie villagers, withers, wither skeletons, zombified piglins, skeleton horses, zombie horses, strays, husks, phantoms, drowns and soglins. And so let's see that in action. Here we have a zombie and let's try to kill it with a normal sword. As you can see it takes 3 hits but with the smite 5 sword it just takes a single hit to kill the zombie. Then we have the soul speed enchantment, max level 3 and only applicable to boots using an anvil. Soul speed will increase the speed with which you can run on top of soul sand and soul soil. So we just have these right here and we try to walk on them. As you can see we get a great speed boost. And there's also these particles that appear when you walk on them. So if you're not wearing these boots you actually go very slow on the soul sand. And a bit quicker on the soul soil but still not that quick. Then we have a Java Edition exclusive enchantment and that's Sweeping Edge. It can only be applied to swords and its max level is 3. And so it will increase the amount of damage done when using the sweeping attack. And so let's see that in action we have a whole bunch of creepers in this hole. And so as you can see if we spam click on these creepers in this hole you just hit one at a time. If you full hit these as you can see you hit every single one of them and that's the sweep attack. And you also see a little animation. As you can see there's a little animation on top of it. And so you only damage one creeper with your full attack and all the others take a little bit of damage. And so this little bit of damage is increased if you use the sweeping edge enchantment. 
So now all the creepers take a whole lot of damage and they die very quickly. Then we have the Thorns enchantment. Its max level is 3 and you can only apply it to chest plates using the enchanting table. You can also apply it to the other types of armor using an anvil. Thorns will reflect some of the damage you take when you get hit. But it will cost durability for this to happen. So let's see this with a zombie over here. If he hits me, he, there's a chance he gets hit back as well, as you just saw right there. And finally, we have the Unbreaking Enchantment, max level 3, and it can be applied to a whole lot of items. So using the Enchanting Table, you can apply it to armor, pickaxes, shovels, axes, swords, hoes, fishing rods, bows, tridents, and crossbows. And using an animal, you can also apply it to shears, flint and steel, shields. Carrot on a stick, warp fungus on a stick, and elytra. And so unbreaking will make it so that the item durability increases. And so as you can see, this golden shovel has 30 durability left. And normally it would go down one by every block you mine. But now as you can see, I've mined around 10 more blocks and it's only gone down by 5 durability. And so this will make it so all of your tools are more durable. And so there we go, those are all the enchantments inside of Minecraft. If I missed anything, please let me know in the comments down below. But if anything else gets added in a future Minecraft 1.17 snapshot or further along the way, of course I couldn't have known about it. But anyway, there we go, that was the video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and then just a quick thank you to my third tier member, Calvin Avers, thank you so much for becoming a member, if you also want to become a member, then check out the blue join button below the video, and look at the different tiers to see what fits you, but there we go, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next one, so until then, bye bye!